This is Dabu 7. Just a heads up here for a lot of military movement that has some heads turning and some eyebrows raising. If you have any footage or anything like this, please let me know on Twitter or email me, dabu7 at yahoo.com. But I want to run a clip here that lets you see what's happening in Tennessee. This is on I-81 North. I guess right off an exit, I'm going to let this guy explain. But we're seeing this, and it's raising question as to what it could be, where they're going, what could be inside the shipping containers. Are they portable generators? Are they things of that nature? This is on the heels of a message being broadcasted on the White House live stream that said blackout, brace yourself on the bottom real quick. And we've said for the longest time, you need to have a plan for a lights out situation. All right. You know what? This this really, you know, concerns me. 81 North in Tennessee runs right up through my backyard. I mean, I'm literally half a mile from the actual highway where I live. And this is a a big, um, this is a major artery in our nation's um, highway system, 81 North, you know, and 80 East and West. It's, um, we're at a kind of a, a hub here. You know, near Scranton, Pennsylvania, the armpit of the world, as they say. Who knew so many wealthy people were living here among us? Um, but anyway, I mean, this this runs right through here, and I don't know if anybody experienced this like back in in the spring, like maybe March, earlier, you know, Mar- February, March, April. Uh, there were convoys of military aircraft that were flying over, and you know, I couldn't see them. So there's nothing to film, but the the sound was there. And there's nothing that sounds like a military convoy in the air. It's a very distinct sound. And it would last 30 to 40 minutes at a time. And they were multiple. So I've been aware that things have been moving around and getting in place for a long time. And, you know, here's the point. You know, when we went to war, my father was in um, the military corps engineers, I think you call it. Um, but they would go in and build latrines and barracks before the forces got there. So there's always, um, you know, an infrastructure that moves in before the actual battles take place in those areas. So everything is planned and staged ahead of time. So you have to take this seriously. That's what I'm saying. Have a good day. Sorry, I'm having a hard time shutting this off.